Hi everybody, welcome back to sunny but very cold day, hence why the jump is on. To feature Jesse Reyes featuring black, not six black as a lot of people are saying. I'll explain that in a minute. First of all, let's get some fun facts on the two artists. Because one, you already know, Jesse. The other one, you might not know, Mr. Black himself. With his latest Sonophone album, East Enter Love. It raked in at the time millions of streams and smashing his new New Zealand gig in October later that year. There's no better time, I feel, in 2023 to learn a bit about Black. The Atlanta rapper has been floating around the charts and the hip-hop world since his widely loved debut single, Problems, which was P-R-B-L-M-S, back in 2016. Now, he is referred to as the pronunciation, the proper pronunciation, black, by the way, not six lakh, despite what your brain keeps trying to tell you about the name. And a few facts about him. His real name is Ricardo Valdez Valentin. Now you're thinking six black isn't a mouthful after all. Hmm? He started his rapping career freestyling in mid-school. His first record deals was with Flo Reader's label. And things didn't really go to plan, although Black spent the next five years battling issues of artistic license and management. We're glad he managed to get out of that one. I can remember when this all started way back with George Michael and his label. And for a long time, George wouldn't appear in videos until all he got everything he wanted, to all the boxes ticked. So well done, I, even in 2023, artists need to get paid and recognized for their work. It's like this channel. I don't own any copyrights to anything I feature. I'm just an enthusiast about music around the world and I love to bring it to my channel and entertain you. So we'll continue. He hails from his personal connection to the number six because people are wondering why six is in the part of six lakh. There's a reason for the confusing name and apparently it's because the number six holds a lot of meaning for the rapper. Black was born in the sixth month in his city zone six, which is also the home of Childish Gambino, Future and Gucci Mane. So there you go. That's where he got the six from. Is there anything on? His name is Bam Bam. In fact, he was a bit of a mishmash to work with. As Black explained in an interview about the subject, you can't make a bear do anything. He would walk in, look around, walk around at the trailer. And this is all to do with, yep, that bear on his album cover is real. Because a lot of people asked about the rapper, about the bear, was it fake? And he said, no, it was called Bam Bam. And he'd look around, as he said, at the trailer. It did that for literally six hours, just sticking its head halfway and being like, nah, and turning around and going to the trailer. Bam Bam was supposed to represent black in a way that was both aggressive and soothing at the same time. This guy definitely likes his symbolism. So that's him. Let's get back on to Jesse, give you a few facts about our lady of the moment, who we shall feature in just two minutes. I just need to go to the top, it's all live. She's Toronto's own Jesse Rios and has already accumulated an impressive CV of admirers including Drill King Louie, Mr. Colouring Book, Book Chance the Rapper, wow, and Dubstep Dabbler turned Jack U Hitmaker, Skrillex, and we all know him. Born in Colombia, born in Canada to Colombian parents, Rios, who pronounces Jesse as Yesse. So there's two artists that you have to understand. Six, six Lack is Black, and Jesse is Yesse with a Y. Because it is lit fam, she says, is into everyone from Quentin Tarantino to Frank Ocean, musically influenced by all that goes on around her. Now, Rios is also unafraid to call out certain sections of the music industry for being utter scumbags, as she did on a recent EP, Kiddo. I have to check more into that one then. And she describes Toronto as mad dope. Jesse came through Toronto's remix project and was mentored by Daniel from DVSN, one half of the awesome duo with 1985. 
So that's enough from the two of them. Let's get into the song Forever. I do have a little bit that mentions the song. Jesse dropped the video for this song Forever featuring Black off her latest album Yesse as a Facebook exclusive. And all it says about this particular song, track three from the album Yesse, if you, uh, you ever met somebody and just know they're going to be in your life forever, question mark, what happened? So that's what it's about. I'm intrigued about the video already. It comes with subtitles in 32 languages. So don't forget to press the buttons, bring up your language, enjoy it. And let's savor the moment that she's back on my channel. Can I say, I found that all the way along from start to finish, so soothing, so effortless, so fun. Something you would do on a holiday, on a beach, with your best friend, with your girlfriend, even if she isn't your girlfriend, if that makes sense. Jessie Ray and Black, well done for bringing into the charts. Music that's just as effortless. It's like, mm hmm, mm -hmm. Jesse and uh, seemed to have a lot of fun there. He seemed to just be so chilled. And between the two of them, that came off as 
and in the video you notice the frame now the first time I ever saw this empty frame situation was pictures that my partner had taken in Bilbao in Spain and he had been to a wedding and it was a gay wedding and they had this photo frame of people went behind and they took pictures so I'm guessing from the video that where the frames were were moments of work moments for the future and there were empty frames and it's like I want you to stay I want you to stay and you can almost this is where we are this is what it's about but will will the picture because we all associate look up behind me pictures of memories being photo framed and put in a certain place mine never changes even though I do clean what's behind me mine never changes so you do look at that and think their memories forever but they're asking each other to stay forever so that it's a blank situation at the moment so let's get into the lyrics as they say looking for it's very simple we're going to get through this in a couple of minutes oh somebody 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 it opens up with passwords that means you love me I can give you what you ask for it starts to say say you need a shooter I can do it from the half court says Jesse I can change your life up painting murals on your passport Louis future kids all on the dashboard so it's basically just look we can travel the world together we can do whatever we want together at the moment what we're doing together is just getting to know each other and have some fun but hey I'm liking you and I want you to stay you need a shooter in other words you need somebody with a bit of this a bit of this and a bit of telling you what to do and I'm up for that let's keep doing what we're doing future kids I see it I see longevity here and isn't it nice to do a song that talks about I want you to stay longevity and not breaking up isn't it at last I need to feature this song the pre-chorus is Jet Yesi singing oh I like every floor I see in you this is all new but I hope I got what you need too I hope I got what you need it is a doubt isn't it in relationships that when you meet somebody and you're ooey and gooey like that video and a lot of my other videos I always say we need more ooh and ah and e and whoo, and chill out vibes and that video had everything I've ever preached about breakups and all of it but at the end of the day the burning question is am I good enough for you here's something I say to a lot of friends and please take it on board if you don't feel good enough to be with somebody don't be with them until you feel good enough to be with somebody so chorus says with yes they singing again cause sometimes sometimes so let me bring it up cause sometimes somebody loves somebody but that body doesn't love them back and it's easy to say that you didn't know you didn't know what you had but you don't you're educated you know that they don't make them like me anymore so pull me in close and, and say stay forever how sweet in other words look you're not stupid you're educated you have a brain in other words if you don't pull me away like you've done with previous people just recognize the good in me and the fun we're having and the time we're spending together and what's in front of you accept it embrace it because as she said they don't make me like, like this anymore because there's very few women with patience will wait x amount of time for you to suddenly wake up so what she's saying to black is look at me and take me on let's go for this Willie let's continue and then it says post chorus stay forever and it's yes he's singing again I think you should put your bag down you should never leave baby you should stay forever I think you should put your bag down and you should never leave ah, 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 ah. so of course you know what's the thing when you arrive in a new place when you're moving into you put you bring your stuff and the first thing is your luggage and your bags and she's wanting that so in other words you won my heart move in let's let's go for this and now it's blacks response passwords passports passwords is something that 
I would refer to as, you know on your phone when you send love texts to somebody or you've got that person's name under a love heart or you've got that person's name under a certain password that those texts are private. I'm sure a lot of people do that. Um, I only have two people in my phone, that's it. And one is my partner and one is my sister. But each, each are encrypted. But it's this encryption about passwords for the heart, I think. And it's passports for to go around and travel. You know, he opens up with that because he continues, I'm have to treat you like a landlord. And we all know what landlords are. We're the tenants, we stay, we're under certain rules and regulations, but the landlord is the boss. So he's, he's more or less saying, maybe I'll do it, but I'm gonna have to treat you, yes I, like the boss. <coughs> Role reversal here. I want you to stay, he says. Save the moment. Got to put it on the camcorder. She's all star, porn star. So sexually, he's saying, in other words, he's attracted to her. Throw it up and catch it off the backboard. I'm going to give you everything that you ask for, like you kick down the door on some task force. Credit card numbers, four digit pins, social security. You could be happy. You could be happy. As long as you're here with me. They say you could never get between us. Said we would never ever leave us. That was a while ago. So at the end he has a slight, he's throwing up a little doubt. But during that he's saying, you know, we know each other, every personal detail of each other. We know every personal detail. Credit card numbers, pin numbers. We share everything as it is. Our lives, our moments, our money. I accept you for and if he's saying social security is he referring to him or yes in the song but whatever they're just ordinary people that knows a lot about each other but then that was a while ago so they did try there's an element here saying i've tried it we did give it a go but they could never get between us. In other words, friends who are jealous. You always get friends on the outside looking in going, you know, I never thought you would be with him or yes, he get people saying, I never thought he was the type to settle down. But the one thing I love is men of today ignore those comments and they just say, I am what I am. If I'm settling down, it's not your business. It's between me and the woman. And I'm so happy for that that other people's opinions don't count because the chorus finishes with both singing because sometimes sometimes somebody loves somebody but that body don't love them back that's true in most cases you move in put the bags down and think everything's going to go well but it's all a routine there's no love involved it's like okay I'll do this but it means nothing so the relationship disintegrates but that body don't love him back and it's easy to say it continues that you didn't know you didn't know what you had but you don't but you're educated you know that they don't make him like me anymore so she's coming back in the last verse of saying what she said before yes because i think there was an element of doubt they did try yes that was before but we're educated now we learn you learn from our mistakes and as she said they don't make them like me anymore in other words i'm patient waiting for you Let's go for this. So it finishes with pull me in, stay close baby. With the two of them saying, put your bag down. So they've agreed to go forward because they're saying, okay, put your bag down. We'll be cool about this now. And yeah, baby, you should stay forever. So they agree to agree on staying together. I think it's a sweet song. I loved it. Thank you for listening. I hope you like, comment, press the buttons. And I look forward to the next Jesse Rehas song. Take care for now.